<laughs> so I recently just finished watching the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. The movie that we've been waiting for for years. I remember when I was a wee lad in middle school and hearing that there's going to be a, a movie about this really, really popular game. I thought, nah, there's no way. But it was, and it did, and it's here, and we saw it. Now let's talk about it. The lead up to this movie has been... Kind of chaotic is the best way to describe it. A lot of people were worried about this movie in the lead up to it, thinking that it'd be a little too childish and that it would be a really not well-made plot. That they'd pull a, we are Freddy Fazbear gang and we're gonna team up to beat the bad guy. We are Freddy Fazbear, we are Five Nights at Freddy's, and just, you know, the really classic, very cringy plot lines. The, he's right behind me, isn't he? And well... It was kind of like that. Kind of. Kind of. There were definitely moments in this movie where I thought it was really, really kind of cringy, but bear with me. There are definitely moments in the movie that were kind of like that, but the thing is, and something that I feel like a lot of people don't really understand, is that's... That's, that's Five Nights at Freddy's. That's the culture of Five Nights at Freddy's. As the games have progressed and as more and more stuff has been added, and the more that the culture of Five Nights at Freddy's and the fan base has grown, that's kind of been what Five Nights at Freddy's has turned into. It's that kind of game, and it's that kind of story and series. So I can't really say I was surprised that I saw stuff like that, and I can't really say that I'm upset either, because I feel like it'd almost be disingenuous if it didn't have those sort of aspects throughout the movie. But now let's talk about the movie in general. All in all, I thought that it was actually a good movie. I actually thought it was a really, really good movie. I actually enjoyed myself thoroughly. Granted, I was a couple keystones in, so I was maybe, a, I was, you know, was, <laughs> it's Halloween weekend, you know? But even despite that, I still thought that it did everything well. And I feel like they nailed all the points that they really needed to nail in order to make this movie not only genuine, but also a good experience. I didn't go into the movie thinking that this is going to be one of the greatest movies of all time. I didn't think that it was going to be like a, a Schindler's List or a Grand Budapest Hotel or a Wolf of Wall Street. I didn't have any of those expectations. I didn't think that it was going to be an Oscar-nominated movie, but I thought it was going to be a good movie, that it was going to be a good experience. And by the end of the movie, I felt that all of those boxes were ticked because it had those cringy moments in the movie but I feel like they didn't make up the entirety of the movie and I feel like the creepiness and the horror of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie was done extraordinarily well because it told a story and it did a good job of portraying the games in a sort of narrative kind of form and I think that's really hard for movies to do because I can't even be begin to start naming all of these movies based off of video games and all of the ones that just end up being total disasters because they try to go off on their own sort of thing and then the movie adds stuff to the story of these these video games and then it just ends up ruining the whole thing i think it's extraordinarily difficult to make movies off of video games because it's your own story you are living through the video game and when you take a step back and it's put in a movie form and you're watching somebody going through that experience it just changes it it changes it. And so with a different perspective, it can really either make or break it, and most of the time it breaks it. But for this movie, it did it extraordinarily well because we got to know more about the security guard. They went into why he's taking the job. And there's another story on top of the already known Five Nights at Freddy's story that we know from the game. And I feel like they did it without taking away anything from the actual Five Nights at Freddy's lore that was set out. The filming, great. The setting of the Five Nights at Freddy's pizzeria and that entire security guard thing it was done also very very well costumes and the animatronics again just fantastic they didn't pre-sonic it so I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that they didn't have to do any corrections and I know people were mentioning that they were upset that the animatronics had red eyes instead of the, the really pinpoint white ones because they thought that the pinpoint white ones were a lot more creepy but watching the movie now it makes a little bit more sense because it's tapping into that that animatronic side of things because they are after all just robots possessed by ghosts sure but they're still just robots and i think the movie made up for it once we saw springtrap and we saw that that animatronic suit had the pinpoint white eyes and i feel like that one fit more i feel like it would make more sense if the villain of the entire show of the entire movie would have the pinpoint white eyes because the animatronics at the end of the day and we've known this well well before they're not they're not evil they're just confused they just need a little hug. They're like the Winter Warlock from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. They just needed their heart melted, their icy hearts. And sure, at the end of the movie, they did have kind of, kind of, if you squint really, really hard, they did kind of have that we are Freddy Fazbear and we are united 
kind of thing as the animatronics team up against 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 Springtrap, against the killer. But even then, they really didn't. They kind of just stood there and then watched as things unfolded. And I feel like that was done very, very well. I think it would have been re really, really cringy and really bad if they got into like a fisticuffs with Springtrap and with William Afton, but they didn't. They just kind of stood there. The only violent thing that happened besides, you know, the spring lock failure and stuff like that was the cupcake jumping. But at that point, you know, the suit kind of took care of itself. But putting all of that together into kind of one big synopsis, one giant, you know, one giant conclusion. I thought the movie was really good. And I feel like a lot of people think the same thing as well. If you look at the ratings, you know, because there's only one rating that anybody actually looks at, and that's the audience rating, because what do critics know? Who are critics? They don't know. They don't know the complexities of the lore. They never watched no game theory. But I feel like most people actually enjoyed the movie. And sure, people have already started complaining about the cringy parts of the movie. And I don't think that those claims are unjustified at all. But I feel like people need to understand that they shouldn't have expected anything else. Because that is, again, that's the story. And that's kind of the culture of these games and of these stories. It does have that silly element to it. But I don't think it took away from the story or the movie. And I feel like, all in all, I feel like the good parts of the movie heavily outweigh the bad parts of the movie. Because were there a couple? Sure, there are a couple things that didn't really make sense. But as I said before, it's extremely difficult to turn a video game into a movie without screwing things up. And they didn't screw anything up, but there were a couple, there were a couple, Iffy, iffy spots. There are iffy spots. We'll call them if spots. If spots. But all in all, I think the movie was done very well. Very, very extraordinarily well. But since it did so well, it's also bringing up questions on is there going to be a sequel? Because at the end credit scenes, which I'm not going to... I, I know I've pretty much spoiled a lot of this movie so far, but I won't tell you the end credits. You just got to watch it yourself. But it seems like at the end credits, it's like they're setting up for another movie or a potential other movie. Because as we all know, the game... Oh my gosh, it just keeps going, that game, doesn't it? So it's highly possible that they could find something else to use for the Five Nights at Freddy and make a movie. Honestly, if they really wanted to, they could make a TV series that would rival that of even Game of Thrones. Because the amount of stuff, the amount of lore they have for that game is just... It's absurd, but I love it so much. But the question still remains, will there be a sequel to the movie? And I think it already was confirmed that there would be another movie, another Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I'm not going to say for sure. I'm sure I'll put it on screen if it's confirmed. But I think it will be very interesting to see where it goes from there, because there are so many different ways that it could go. Are they going to make it a prequel, like Five Nights at Freddy's 2? Are they going to do the horror attraction of Five Nights at Freddy's 3? Or are they going to do the other multitude of games that they have created within the span of a couple of years? Who knows? That's the future. But the future's always coming, and he will always be back. But that's all I really wanted to say. It was a good movie. I'd, I'd, I'd check it out. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, if indeed you still are. My name is Brockster. And I bid you all adieu.